Welcome to lesson 63. Today we're going to talk about symbols of inclusion and this has a lot to do with order of operation. When it comes to order of operation we know that there is the the please, the, the parentheses. However, as problems get more complex sometimes we have different symbols to help us understand the, the order that things need to be done. For instance, as we look at it, we can have three symbols. We have parentheses, which we're very familiar with, um, and then two other ones, brackets and braces. I got interrupted. I don't know where I was. Parentheses, brackets, braces. Let's take a look at, at how this works. I can create a problem, and I can start doing things like this and initially you might say okay I know how to do all of this but if I wanted you to solve this in a very specific order I could emphasize that saying okay here's some parentheses then I want you to do this and and finally the last step is the braces and so basically what this is saying is that it's it's changing the emphasis of the order. Right? Normally we would multiply and then you know do within the parentheses this first, but then if these if these brackets weren't here, we would have to multiply next and then add seven. But the brackets add uh, another layer and they serve like parentheses as a symbol of inclusion. Um, the reason that we use brackets and braces is so that we don't come away with a problem that looks something like this. Which we could definitely do, but some people just find that extremely confusing as to understand where do those parentheses fit together. And that's where brackets and braces can help us to understand which step goes first, which step goes second. So let's go ahead and solve this problem together. It says 50 minus brackets 20 plus parentheses 10 minus 5. So we're, we're always going to start with parentheses. That is still step number one. All right. So the innermost parentheses or the innermost symbol of inclusion. So we're going to go 10 minus 5, which gives us an answer of 5. But before we start subtracting, we now have this as our new problem, 50 minus these brackets. So now we've got to do these brackets. So 20 plus 5 is 25. And now we're going to take 50 minus that 25 for a final answer of 25. All right. So we have that idea. Now, with inside of this, we need to understand that um, sometimes there are other operations that seem to interfere. And, and one of those would be what we would call absolute values, all right? So these are not brackets or braces or parentheses. However, an absolute value um, serves similar to parentheses and must actually be done first. And so to solve this problem, we have to solve within the absolute values before we start working, going left to right with inside the parentheses. So we're going to start with this absolute value for minus 6 gives us a negative 2, but it's absolute value of negative 2, so it's really just 2. And so in the end, as we rewrite this, this is 12 minus 8 minus, right, our positive 2, or 2 away from that plus 2. So we have that idea. Now we're going to do inside the parentheses going left to right, so 8 minus 2 plus 2. So 8 minus 2 gives us 6, and then plus 2 brings us back to 8. And so finally, our last step then is going to be eight, 12 minus 8, which gives us an answer of 4. So we have that idea. All right, it's your chance to prove you understand operations. Um, working with these symbols of inclusion. This is lesson 63.